Hello, I'm Yossi Klein from Jerusalem and here is a small and quick tip on how to put a border around a clip which is in a picture-in-picture -picture effect. I've got my timeline with two clips, one on top of the other, the color one and the black and white one, so that we can uh, differentiate between them. I'm going to take the top one go to the scaling and make it smaller as a picture-in-picture picture and move it to the side of the frame. Now in order to build a border around that clip I am going to use the grid effect. It has absolutely nothing to do yeah, I'm saving the project. It has absolutely nothing to do with a uh, border, but with a little bit of creativity, I can convert grid to border. I'll take my grid, and, of course not here, excuse me, I need to take the grid on the top uh, clip, and instead of going with the blending mode of none which is a default I'll change it to normal so that I can see the video itself I'll make the border let's say 20 pixel wide so I'll see the lines I'll make it a bit uh, larger in a second and the trick here is to do the following one go to the anchor point and enter zero zero which means that we are starting from the top. Two, go to width and height sliders and change the width and the height to the width and the height of the original clip. In my case it was 1920 by 1080 and now let's make the border a bit larger and here we are with a border around a clip in a picture-in-picture -picture format. Now if I want I can for example add a drop shadow where am I? Here it is one second here we are by adding a drop shadow to that clip here we are larger distance and make it a little bit blurry I can have it with a drop shadow. If I want I can rotate that clip without any problem whatsoever. Okay, I scan, can scale it up and scale it down. I can position it and the grid therefore the border is attached to that clip. All this is very nice with a clip which original dimension is the dimension of the sequence and the base clip. But I added another clip and this clip is smaller than the total size of uh, the sequence. Let's take the clip I worked with and the effect, the grid, that I have been using. Copy it and go to the new clip and paste it. Of course I need to arrange my dimensions which I'm going to do now. So this particular clip, if I'm not mistaken, I'll check the properties, is 480 by 270. So, based on uh, what I explained a couple of minutes ago, the anchor is at 0, 0. This is going to be 480. The height is 270. And let's make the border 15 in that particular case because it's very small. And I do have a border. Mm, not exactly. I have a full grid. In the case of my first clip, 
I did not have that grid. In the case of my second clip, which is smaller, I do have it. So how do I get rid of the extra grid, of the remnant of the grid? What I needed to do is to find the crop effect and take the crop effect and add it. Magic! Yes! When I add the crop effect without changing anything, left, top, right, bottom, I don't change any parameters. The crop effectively crops out the remaining of the grid and now I am back to be able to move and of course keyframe that particular picture in picture, put it wherever I wanted to move it and put it. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and listening. I am Yossi Klein from Jerusalem.